Good morning, everyone. I welcome you back to the English online class, and I hope you all have received the syllabus by now for the midterm examination. And as I have informed you people, you uh, will be having uh, the chapters from the April month till this. Uh, chapter whatever is there everything is going to include whatever I have taught you is included in your midterm examination and uh, as the website informs you the examination will be in two ways 50% will be of objective type and the next 50% will be subjective and very soon you'll be informed about the rest of the uh, matter and now let's come on to the chapter the third level I hope you people are not confused with this chapter and it's a very simple chapter actually the third level which is by Jack Finney I have told you people uh, let's uh, have a quick recall okay and I have told you people that this story is about a guy named Charlie okay and uh, this Charlie uh, this third level is having an importance this title is having an importance actually uh, this Charlie he uh, happens to go uh, to back to his house by the subway subway means the underground stations and there he happens to go to the third level and he says that anyone from the railway department can swear that there is no third level in the grand central station which he uses for going back home but he says that he happens to uh, be there in that third level not once but many times so about this when he spoke to his psychiatrist friend he said that maybe he is sad and unhappy with his life uh, because of the tensions worries and that's why he is just making up a story to uh, come out or escape from that particular situation to which this man is not ready to agree because he says that he is entirely happy and he does a stamp collection and so do his father uh, grandfather but uh, his grandfather was a very happy person and was very peaceful and calm in his days so he don't think that uh, these all could be just a way out or a way to escape from the daily tensions of their life even he mentioned President Roosevelt's name also who got the habit of stamp collection. I spoke to you about uh, that first day cover also I had explained. And then he started uh, narrating his experience that how come that third level uh, is there which is an, uh, not a dream, a uh, walking dream but a reality according to him. So he says that one uh, particular summer day uh, late night he had been working and he wanted to be out of the place and reach his home at the earliest so he decided that instead of taking the bus which will take long he will take the subway and because of that reason he went uh, to the grand central station and uh, when he went over there he started describing himself to be a very simple person an ordinary man of 31 and when he was passing through the way he saw many people like him dressed up like him and there was nothing uh, like uh, he was trying to escape he just wanted to go to his uh, wife at the earliest and then he says that he got down the stairs uh, and he reached to the first level then he was not supposed to catch the train from there he wanted to go to the second level so he again decided to go down the next uh, set of stairs and he just went down the stairs and when he opened the doorway uh, he, it opened him into some other place it was not a station but he opened it up and he just uh, reached somewhere else and uh, he says that it's happened with him uh, many times once he came out at a roosevelt hotel another time he had an experience of uh, coming out uh, in a in a office building which was somewhat uh, three blocks away from the uh, place so this is what he had uh, shared with us his experience and now let's go a little further what he wants to speak about Sometimes I think Grand Central is growing like a tree, pushing out new corridors and staircases like roots. 
there's probably a long tunnel that nobody knows about feeling its uh, its way under the city right now on its way to times square and maybe another to central park and maybe because for so many people through the years grand central has been an exit a way of escape maybe that's how the tunnel i got into but i never told my psychiatrist friend about that idea okay this man is having uh, his own uh, diagnosis uh, <laughs> diagnosis in the sense that his own way of thinking he started uh, imagining and uh, he started uh, thinking that the grand central station is like a tree a tree which is growing and which is spreading its roots and the grand central station is spreading its roots of staircases and corridors uh, like under the city and he believes that there is a long tunnel which passes through the city underground and uh, it comes out uh, somewhere out to the times square or maybe to the central park and he also says that in the past years maybe many people might have uh, used this long tunnel or the third level for a way to exit or a way to escape and there he is also uh, doing the same thing that is what the reason is he is getting that third level but he never discussed all this matter with his psychiatrist friend so further the corridor i was okay let's see this this is really very interesting pay attention the corridor i was in began angling left and slanting downward and i thought that was wrong but i kept on walking all i could hear was the empty sound of my own footsteps and i didn't pass a soul then i heard that sort of hollow roar ahead that means open space and people talking the tunnel turned sharp left i went down a short flight of stairs and came out on the third level of the grand central station for just a moment i thought i was back on the second level but i saw the room was smaller there were fewer ticket windows and train gates and the information booth in the center was wood and old fashion or looking and the man in the booth wore a green eye shade and long black sleeve protectors the lights were dim and sort of flickering then i saw why they were open flame gas lights okay now his experience a oh, really interesting one uh, if it ever happens with any of us maybe uh, we won't be even able to express it to anyone or maybe people won't believe so now he began his journey what he did he had um, he had gone down the stairs to catch the train from the second level and then when he opened he opened up a uh, Uh, maybe a door way uh, into the third level so he says that he entered into a corridor and he started walking the corridor was turning towards the left a slight downwards slanting means like a, you can say that a sloping uh, tilting ha thoda sa jhukav so downward and then instantly he thought no this is wrong this is not the way but then still he kept on he keep keeps walking still he keeps walking he didn't stop then he as he was walking he could hear some noise noise like uh, a little further an empty room is there and lots of people are standing there and talking and that the echo of that talk reaches na in the corridor that way he felt and then the t- tunnel or the corridor through which he was passing or the tunnel he just it just turned to the left and then he had to go down a short set of means a few number of uh, steps and then he came out to the third level of the grand central station for a moment he thought that okay i came to the second level but then he thought no the room seems to be smaller than what he had seen last time and uh, in the second level and the ticket counters from where people have to purchase the ticket they were also very in less in number and the train gates gates are there 
you have to pass by those gates to enter into the train and they were also in very less number and the most important thing is that the information booth means where the people go and do the inquiry it was uh, somewhat made of wood and the old fashioned type it was looking the man a man was sitting down in that booth he was wearing a green color eye shade means for covering the eyes na green color and his sleeves were all mm, protected with a black uh, long black uh, sleeve then the lights which were there the lights were very dim not only dim they were flickering jalbuch flickering and first he started thinking that what might be the reason and then when he looked around he understood what is the reason because they were open flame glass light means they were not like uh, like how on your gates the lamps are there na which are covered from the top they are not covered they are open from the top because of that reason they were flickering okay it looked like as if though the light was flickering then further it is said that there were brass spittoons on the floor and across the station a glint of light caught my eye a man was pulling a gold watch from his vest pocket he snapped open the cover glanced at his watch and frowned he wore a derby hat a black four button suit with tiny lapels he had a big black handlebar mustache then i looked around and saw that everyone in the station was dressed like 18 90 something i never saw so many beards sideburns and fancy mustaches in my life a woman walked in through the train gate she wore a dress with leg off mutton sleeves and skirts to the top of her high button shoes high button shoes back of her out on the tracks i caught a glimpse of a locomotive a very small courier and ivis locomotive with a funnel shaped stack and then i knew okay uh, here some description of the place see in the previous paragraph we have seen that he entered into the third level and how he thought that it is a third level not the second level because of the small room because of the less number of ticket counters because of less number of train gates because of the old fashioned information booth and the person sitting down over there and the open gas lights now further again more is there there was brass spittoons spittoons means um, what is it? in hindi we people call pikda yeah the one in which people spit so brass spittoons nowadays where you can find that they were all fitted on the floor so that if people want to spit anything they can spit in that and uh, suddenly he felt that where he was standing a little further in the other side of the station something was glittering like how when the light falls on diamond or glass or golden colored object light glitters na and that it catches your eyes so he, the same thing happened and when he looked he saw that a man he was pulling out a gold watch from his vest pocket vest pocket means you people are wearing the waist coats na the, the like a three suit a uh, three piece suit when you are wearing the one which you wear on over the outer uh, su- uh, means the main suit cover the the inside one which you wear on na that is called as the vest and uh, you might have seen in the old movies and all how the people they are having the watch which they pocket watches we call it as they keep in their pockets so this man he was taking out a gold watch gold watch you know gold watch and then he took it out <coughs> excuse me and then he opened it that means like angrily he opened it he glanced at the watch the timing and then he frowned means he got angry mm, means on oh, frown means um, the forehead had the marks what do you call in hindi silver tipped now then he was wearing a derby hat derby hat derby hat olden times hat no the derby hat he was wearing then four button suit 
four buttons were there that kind of suit he was wearing with tiny lapels tiny lapels like how the top jacket which you are wearing it is having a collar no? from the back to the front it comes and uh, like that uh, that is called as the lapel okay and that lapel was very uh, tiny means in the olden days they never used to wear on the big one the, in the present time which you see the men who wear on suit and all they were so fashionable and all but it was not that sort and he was having a big black handlebar mustache handlebar mustache means uh, the one which is curved upwards means people keep on pointing it upwards no that is called as a handlebar mustache then he looked around and he found that every person was dressed up in that way only like as if though of 80s or 90s something 89 or something like that sort it was uh, he felt so and he said that i have never seen any uh, any time so many beards sideburns sideburns you know what are sideburns kali kali and fancy mustaches means different different type of mustaches he says that never in my life i have seen such a big number of mustaches fancy ones and sideburns and beards then a lady came uh, she walked through the train gate and she was wearing a dress with leg of mutton sleeves and skirts leg of mutton sleeves means tightly fitting fitted sleeves were there very tight the sleeves were sticking to her hands and the skirt that she was wearing uh, it was still the top of her shoes which were buttoned shoes means long skirt she was wearing on till below her knee and then he looked at the track railway track which was behind her suddenly he had a look of it and a train a locomotive was standing there and that locomotive was of career and ivis locomotive and it was having a funnel shaped stack mm. you might have seen no the steam engines and all which looks very round engine ah yes that kind one uh, and he understood yes i am at the third level and somewhere in the 80s i am let's see further to make sure i walked over to a newsboy and glanced at the stack of papers at his feet it was the world and the world hasn't been published for years the lead story said something about president cleveland i have found that front page since in the public library files and it was printed june 11 1894 okay when he saw all those things he decided uh, let me make a make a assurance that yes i am somewhere in the 1890s uh, i am and because of that reason you know what is the best way that is to read a newspaper and he went a near a uh, newsboy who was sitting down with a stack of papers means uh, with a long pile or long, uh, with a heap of numerous number of papers at his feet and the name on the paper was like how we people are having the dainik baskar the chronicle Uh, the times of india like that only the name is there on the newspaper and that was the world and our narrator that is charlie knew it very well that this paper is been stopped uh, to be uh, means is stopped being published from years means from years the world hasn't been published and then that day paper was telling about a story a story means about an an article related to the then president cleveland and he remembers reading this very front page in the public library and the date given over there was june 11 1894 yes he was in the year 1894 years back from his present existence then he said further i turned toward the ticket windows knowing that here on the third level at grand central i could buy tickets that would take luisa and me anywhere in the united states we wanted to go in the year 1894 and i wanted two tickets to galesburg illinois 
when he was very sure now that it was in 1894 he turned towards the ticket counter and he wanted to purchase the tickets because he knew that in the grand central station in 1894 he could he was able to purchase able to afford to purchase tickets to go anywhere in the united states along with his wife and he wishes to go to galesburg illinois have you ever been there it's a wonderful town still with big old frame houses huge lawns and tremendous trees whose branches meet overhead and roof the streets and in 1894 summer evenings were twice as long and people sat out on their lawns the men smoking cigars and talking quietly the women waving palm leaf fans with the fireflies all around in a peaceful world to be back there with the first world war still 20 years off and world war 2 over 40 years in the future i wanted two tickets for that oh what a lovely experience it would be if ever we get a chance to put a reverse gear to our life and go to a place where there could be peace different from the present a scenario where there is always a lot of um, hustle bustle running about etc etc so now he describes galesburg illinois where he wants to go he says that it is still a wonderful town but in the olden time it was even more wonderful with big old frame houses huge lawns and big big trees the so big trees that their branches used to touch each other means on the two sides of the street on the either sides and they used to touch each other and create a kind of a shade over the streets and in 1894 the season was totally different the weather was totally different the evening summer evenings used to be a little more longer and people used to sit on the la- lawns and the men they used to smoke cigars and talk very quietly while the women they will uh, they will be waving the palm leaf palm leaf uh, fans like how the hand fans are not like that only the palm leaf fans are made and the fireflies will be moving around in a very peaceful environment and you just imagine this is the time uh, some about 20 years before the first world war and 40 years before the second uh, world war so he just wanted the two tickets to go to the place illinois to enjoy the atmosphere to enjoy the peace calm that existed at that time so the rest keep in your mind the curiosity to know what might have happened and i will take it in the next video so till then take care of yourself and goodbye